Let's do let's do warlocks. Everyone's going crazy about affliction. Um, cool. All right, so you have to, whoa. Agony's damage may now ramp up twice as high. Holy fuck! All right, uh, secrets of the Necrolite. Your drain life is massively empowered, dealing 150% increased damage. Agony, life tap, unstable affliction, standard. Uh, seed of corruption. Wow, you have like no abilities as affliction. Um, okay, so haunt. 15 second cooldown. It's no shard. Dealing pretty reasonable uh, damage, it looks like. Wraith and Agony. I think if you're playing against no D curses, I'll do priest next, guys. Chillax, chillax. But what spec for priest? You got? Just tell me what spec for priest. It's. It feels like if you're playing against no D curses, Agony might be way better. Um, drain Soul. Replaces Drain Life. Weird. I feel like I would take Haunt. I don't know why though. Uh, consumes 40% 40, 40 of your current mana to gain 15% increased damage. Oh my god. That seems absolutely absurd. For 20 seconds, Corruption is now permanent. 60 seconds against players. Not that good to get, to get dispelled. Unstable Affliction also increases all damage you deal to the target by 5%. Doesn't seem that great. This seems so good. Mana tap seems absolutely insane. Disc Priest? Alright, I'll do Disc and Shadow next. I'll, I'll start with Shadow. Alright, so Howl of Terror. 60 second cooldown. Uh, when you are reduced below 30%, you release a Howl of Terror. Your Howl causes enemies within 10 yards to flee, disorienting them for 20 seconds. Uh, damage may cancel the effect. This doesn't seem that good. It's It it has a 60 second cooldown and happens automatically. It actually seems like they gutted Howl of Terror. You think DPS decurse is gone? Yeah, then Agony is probably better. Um, My mother plays Resto Shaman in PvP, showed her your Shaman Guide, and she watched it all and wrote notes. Seems good. Wait, really? Damn, dude. Shout out to your mom, bro. Uh, Coil, 45 second cooldown. Coil seems better right now than Howl of Terror. Howl of Terror actually doesn't seem good at all. It's passive. Uh, it says it says disorienting them for 20 seconds, but realistically, there's no way it's going to last 20 seconds of PvP. Um, Agony is no longer a curse, really? What is it? What is it? Refreshing, um, is it magic? I don't fucking know. But yeah, seems good. Seems good, boys. Soul Leech. Affliction. Drain life and drain uh, soul grant you your pet shadowy shields that absorb 30% of the damage they dealt for 50 per second. You and your pet. Oh, wow. So this kind of gives you a heal. I think Coil's probably going to be better. Oh, wow. Siphon life. Holy fuck, man. I haven't seen this spell since, like, fucking Wrath or BC. When did they remove Siphon life? I'm so happy it's back. Holy fuck. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. Uh, siphon the target's life essence, dealing 100% of spell damage over 15 seconds, healing you for X each time it deals damage. Awesome. Seed of Corruption now consumes soul, soul shards if available, not cool. Refill 5 soul shards, too many cooldown. Dude, Siphon life. Siphon life has to be the best, man. That seems so crazy. Well, it left it with some gameplay. You gonna put Shammy and Holy Pollock on YouTube? Missed it and got asleep. Now dot GN. Yeah, we'll get we'll get Shaman up there. I might I might get all these up there. It depends. All right. So Siphon Life seems crazy, by the way. Siphon Life is awesome. Dark Pact. Uh, sacrifice twenty percent of your current demon's health to shield you for four hundred percent of the sacrifice health. If you have no demon, your health to sacrifice instead. Um, usable while s suffering from control impairing effects. Okay. Uh, what's the Codex of Zeroth? What the fuck? I don't even know what the fuck that is. So I'm not even gonna read it. I don't know what that is. I guess for demo or something. Creature movement speed by 50%. Also deals damage equal to 4% of your maximum health per second. Uh, movement pairing effects may not reduce you below 100%. Not interesting. Demonic Circle. Yeah, Demonic Circle is by far the best talent choice. Dude, Warlocks are looking pretty good. Oh, Green... Uh, wait, Green Fire? I'm, I'm confused. Alright, uh, the Grimoires... Um, Powers your demon pet, causing it to have 20% increased health and 20% damage. Probably the best one. Instantly summon a second demon, which will fight for you. Um, for affliction. Oh wow, you could do this. You could pull out a second pet and use a second spell off, which is kind of interesting. This might be good sometimes. Create a soul effigy bow to the target. 
Oh, that is, um, which is tackle all, only by the warlock. Percentage of all damage taken by the effigy is re uh, replicated on the original target. Last one minute. I don't really understand how this works. Uh, place a phantom uh, singularity above the target, which consumes the life of all enemies within 25 yards, dealing 25% of spell damage uh, over 2 seconds every 16 seconds. Increase your healing of that damage done. You're now able to maintain your control over greater demons, allowing you to summon doom guards and infernals as pets. I think this is what you're going to use, but I don't really understand what it does. Oh, multi. Wait, double your dot damage on someone? Wait, really? Interesting. Soul F? Oh, really? This is like more AoE, though, right? Which consumes the life of all enemies within 25 yards? Hmm. Wait, Soul Effigy is double dot damage and has no cooldown, right? That seems pretty fucking good. That seems pretty good. Okay. Warlocks look pretty fucking dope. Let's just go down here to the Warlock talents. Uh, medallions are the same. These are the same. Whoa! Wait, what? Holy fuck. Holy shit, man. They brought... Whoa. Holy... F they brought curses back. Curse of tongues, curse of weakness, and curse of fragility. The question is... This seems really scary. So if I was at 20% health and you used curse of fragility on me, what would happen? Would I, would I be dead? Or would I have... Uh, if I had 100k health and I was at 20k, would I have... Um, 20% of 80k? Just 16k? Would I lose 4k health? I don't really understand. So, I like Curse of Weakness. Warlocks feel like they could do something to peel for you. And I like Curse of Tongues. 20% of 20%. Uh. 20% of 20%. You would still be at 20%? You would be at 16%? Okay. That's what I thought. Alright. That doesn't seem that good. That doesn't seem that good at all. It could be like really crazy in BGs just to nuke someone. It could be um... It could be um... Really crazy... And fives maybe? If you want to do a hard swap to someone? I can't imagine that's going to be very good in threes. Um... I think Curse of Tongues and Curse of Weakness just if you're fighting caster, if you're fighting melee looks really cool. Improved Hellstone. Um... Increase the healing bonus of your fell armor by 15%. Uh, healing received by your demons is increased by 15%. Demon skin's back. That's cool. Crude hellstone. Awesome. Doesn't say anything. Health funnel reduces damage taken by your summon demons by 20%. I think that's uh, I think that's good. All right. Borrowed souls. Your affliction um, returns one soul shard once. Oh, unstable affliction once dispelled or ends its duration. Wait, what? Doesn't it only cost one soul shard? It says zero soul shards here. That's weird. Okay. Did they change this already? It's over eight seconds. It originally was over six. Okay. Um, fear causes your damage over time effects uh, on the target to manifest into nightmares. The nightmare deals 70% of the remaining periodic damage. Wait, what? So if you fear someone with full dots, they get bursted really hard? Hold on a second. Am I reading this wrong? Fear causes your damage over time effects on the target to manifest in a nightmare. So instead of fear, it's nightmare. The nightmare deals 70% of the remaining periodic damage and generates a soul shard. Wait, so you could fear people and just burst the fuck out of them? That seems... That seems disgusting. That seems really crazy. But it also kind of means you're giving up your CC. In a sense. Wow. Um... Okay, Siphon Soul. Your Drain Life uh, grants one Soul Shard every three ticks. Probably not that good. I think um, Borrowed Soul or Nightmare is probably going to be the best. This doesn't seem that good. Uh, Demo. I don't really understand Demo. Demonic Powerment is now instant. Uh, reduce the duration of Snares, Roots, and Stun Effects on your Summon Demons by 75%. Seems pretty good. Dreadstalker attacks restore 1% of your maximum health. Okay. Inserting refreshes duration of Immolate. Uh, can flag creates an eruption of fell fire at the target's location, dealing shadow damage every second. Um, for, wait, every one second for five seconds uh, to all enemies. Okay, not that awesome. Improved backdraft. 
This is probably the best one. Increase the effectiveness. All right. So there's not these aren't actually fully filled out yet. How's the new crib? It's looking pretty good, man. Not everything's set up yet, but we're working on it. Do you know what the max level is going to be? Yeah, it's going to be 110, I think. Reduce the global cooldown of your curse of agony, um, corruption, and unstable affliction by 5.5. I think that's really important for affliction. Increase the duration of uh, unstable affliction by six seconds. Wow, I also think that's really, really important for affliction. I think that's incredibly important for affliction because right now it only lasts for uh, it only lasts for eight seconds. So 14 is a big deal. Uh, soul swap copies your damage over time effects, uh, preserving the duration. Use your soul swap within. Oh man, I'm I'm really I'm really sad to see soul swap still in the game. Proof cast ball reduce the cast time of cast ball by 0.5. Fuck. Um, your dried stalkers gain frenzy for five seconds when summoned, attacking 50% faster. Okay. Bane of havoc. We know what that is. Summons observer. Shooting lasers at the nearest target. What the fuck? All right. Fuck soul swap. Puts a soul shard. Yeah, I just don't like the idea of soul swap. Honestly, I really hate soul swap. 